Welcome to another short vlog post from abroad. So I wanted to watch the latest episode of some season pass on iTunes and being abroad the internet connection was not the greatest and downloading the HD video would take forever. In Berlin obviously I stream the greatest HD resolution available but abroad that is often simply not possible. And why should I overload the networks with needless pixels? Anyway, I could not find the download SD button anymore and I googled and you see other people also google uh, iTunes download SD version, purchased, HD, whatever. But all these posts were old and not matching the latest iTunes UI anymore. So in iTunes you would think that in your library section with all the cloud downloads here you could somehow download the SD version but I did not find any possibility. I obviously know the tricks that many things in Mac when you click with the Alt option button change the behavior. I tried alt clicking the cloud icon, I tried the context menu here but I could not find anything that would download the SD version. Also previously when you go to the store, go to the TV show in the iTunes store, so previously this button was download but in the latest update they apparently changed this to play. I mean why the heck would I want to directly play this if I purchased it for good money I want to usually download it permanently. This also takes the option for me to download the SD option because previously you could select SD here and you could download the SD version but now this is play. This is still not very helpful if your connection is not fast enough for real time playback for example the next day during your flight back home. So clicking play here directly plays it although my connection is right now not fast enough for this. So my connection would be fast enough but somehow the connection to US servers is not fast enough. I'm I'm locked in here into the US store to download the US seasons in English and so on. So what I found after a lot of back and forth is if you go to your account purchased section here in the account menu. So here at the bottom I found download HD when available. So if you unselect this it will download the SD version. I hope they keep this for the next versions and not also take it away. And if you then click the cloud icon here, it will actually indeed download the SD version. And the next thing I noticed then I wanted to click the last episode and only accidentally realized this is not the latest episode. Then I thought, okay, it's reverse sorted, click here, but no, this is also not the latest episode. I have absolutely no idea how this is sorted, uh, not sorted at all or random sorted or whatsoever. Only because I was in the previous list view in the library section, I remembered that this I hope or whatever should be pronounced. Episode here is the latest. I mean what the heck is wrong with Apple's usability team? I This is, is really beyond my comprehension. And this options, why do they need to be three ways to download it? Why do they all need to be different? Why need the special cases like downloading SD to be so hidden? Why can it not always be a context menu and so on and so on? And I really think this is what right now is wrong with Apple. They are not leading in usability anymore. They do not get the small details right. And this ever-changing UI, like the download button was there the other week, also applies to other websites, um, Google, Facebook and whatsoever. And even serious accounting sites, imagine your content is working in some governmental tax form thing. And they also sometimes change it, even hide things where you even need to call helplines to find out where some special buttons, some special reports, some exports are hidden and so on. It's really crazy. I mean, even, even PayPal is changing things on a quarterly basis. We had to adapt our online store three times this year for changes in uh, PayPal APIs and, and email form formatting and so on. Yeah, so this is also a call out for developers and UI designers to please get your things together. Do not irritate the users, make it easy for the user, make it accessible for the user. I really do not want to spend an evening hunting for buttons and, and hidden easter egg options. I hope you found this uh, tip helpful and feel free to also subscribe for plenty of more videos to come.